This is Angkor Wat, the 900-year-old largest religious monument in the world and the epicenter of the Great Khmer Empire. We'll be honest, prior to traveling, we didn't know anything about Angkor Wat. Learning about this ancient civilization just days before stepping into what they built was an unreal experience. What we knew is that it would be super hot outside and we'd be seeing lots of temples. What we didn't know was just how much this place would blow our minds and ultimately become one of our favorite travel experiences so far. We're also visiting two other temples today that you might find to be even cooler than Angkor Wat itself. So sit back and relax in your air-conditioned home while we sweat our butts off and try to do justice to this incredibly special place. We're Jill and Hannah. Last year, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned, and moved out of our apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. Now we're setting off on a journey to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. Good morning. My brain does not work yet. It's gonna be a good day. I don't think I've ever started my day this early before in my life. Before 4 a.m. Me neither. And we're not even that grumpy. Time to go. Only 10 minutes late. It's fine. It's so dark outside. It feels like it's 10 p.m. at night. Can it just stay dark all day? Because <laughs> it feels so much better than it feels in the middle of the day. It does. It's still warm, but I'm not sweating yet. The high today is 102 degrees. Yep. I don't know why I bother putting on makeup when it's just gonna melt right off my face. There are people out here still out at bars from last night. And it's 4.43 now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yogurt time? <laughs> Yogurt and a tuk tuk. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Let's not to drop go to waste. We're kind of getting out of the city and actually out into the jungle now. And this is the first time since we've been in Siem Reap that I actually feel cool outside. It feels so nice. I'm going to savor this moment because I know it is fleeting. A little tip, buy your tickets online beforehand because we just passed by a ton of people. Hopefully that means we'll get a good spot for sunset, or a good spot for sunrise. Thank you. <laughs> this is the path behind us wow. to get there. It is completely dark and it's kind of awesome. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Just me. Yeah. So we're walking down this super dark road and every once in a while a man just pops out of the dark and says, Good morning, you need tour guide. <laughs> but it's so weird because you can't even see them coming. We're walking over a bridge, going over what I think is the big moat surrounding the place. And up here, all we can see are the outlines of these big rock structures that we're going to walk through to enter onto the main grounds. It it's, looks so mystical it in looks, the dark. Yeah, it's crazy. And like getting here in the dark is gonna be such a wild experience because- We can't see anything. It's like all <laughs> of a sudden, it's gonna be all magically revealed to us. Also something I just remembered, another reason this is really cool is I've never watched a sunrise before. I've never woken up early enough and gone outside to like see the sun rise and just like watch it. Wait, never? No. So your first sunrise in your entire <laughs> life is one of the most iconic in the world at Anchor Wat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I just thought of that. That's insane. <laughs> this is going to be such a good experience for you. I know. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. All right. We have made it to the viewing spot on the pond and I'll try to help you guys see this on camera, but all we can see is Anchor Wat and palm trees silhouetted against a very dark sky. It's so pretty. We still have like 45 minutes till sunset and it's starting to get like- Sunrise? Oh my God, I keep saying that. Till sunrise. It's starting to get like just a little bit light over there, but it's still like pretty dark. It feels so peaceful out here too. It does. Lots of crickets and frogs. There's still little bats flying around kitchen bugs. This is gonna be dark. This feels magical. It's getting a little bit brighter now and everything is just reflecting off of the pond in front of us. It's so pretty already, even though the sun isn't up yet. Like, this is gorgeous. Yeah, and the people are filing in. This is my first time ever doing a time lapse and it's kind of a big moment, so wish me luck. This is 
such a pretty sunrise. There's something just so peaceful about starting your day before the world is awake and then slowly watching the sky get brighter and the sun come up. I love it. That is very true. <laughs> Although don't expect to be alone here. No. There is like a ton of people, but as long as you set your expectations for that, like it really doesn't take away from the experience that much in my opinion. No, I don't think so. As long as you get here early enough that you're not like behind a bunch of people at the lake. Yeah, there's plenty of room though. Yeah, there is. Definitely, definitely come for the sunrise if you're here. Yes, I think it's absolutely worth it. For sure. Yeah. So I definitely recommend either getting a tour guide or doing just like a ton of research on your own before coming here. Having a historical understanding of this place before visiting is just really going to help elevate your experience here. We did not get a tour guide today because with the filming we end up moving through things very very slowly but I did a ton of research before this so I will do my best to share all of that with you guys and if I get anything wrong just correct me in the comments. So Angkor Wat was actually built in the 12th century, which is crazy because you would expect it to just be a big pile of rocks, but it is not. It is this massive, I don't, I don't know what to call it. Like a complex, <laughs> giant temple complex. I don't know either, but this... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that exa is. exactly what I was thinking. Wow, can you tell we've done so much research? <laughs> so much research. Anyway, <laughs> it's actually the largest religious monument in the world, and this thing is old. <laughs> <laughs> Professionally guided tours by Jill. <laughs> anyway, we are here. It's time to go inside. We haven't even like made it into the building yet and I'm already just like so blown away. It occurred to me that I've never seen anything like this in my life. We've seen a few Mayan ruins, but they were mostly just rocks on the ground. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> This place is so cool. Other than like the wooden steps they put in for us to be able to walk around easily, everything is just like solid stone with carvings in it. It's incredible. I feel like I just stepped back hundreds of years. I think we did. It's crazy. make all this when it's just like all solid stone? Where did it all come from? How did they carve it all? How long did it take them to carve this all? There's so much detail everywhere. What's that? <laughs> so many questions. So many. So Angkor Wat was actually built as a Hindu temple and was later converted into a Buddhist temple whenever the king at that time converted to Buddhism. So you'll see different elements of both all throughout the temple. some big racks. It's so crazy that this is like a thousand years old, parts of it. Almost. That's insane. How are even rocks that old? <laughs> Can you tell I know a lot of history? <laughs> <laughs> like how, how did they build this a thousand years ago when they didn't have equipment or machines or electricity? That's wild. Whose job was it to like stack those stones all the way up there? I would not want that job. Hey, there's bats. There's bats? There's bats all over the wall. You see all the black stuff? Those are bats. Oh, no, no, no. There's a right there. They're so cute. Oh, they're not. Yes, they are cute. <laughs> they're little mice with wings and that's cute. 
Ew. <laughs> Don't you the, the bats? Next, we climb these steep stairs to the upper level, where back in the day, only the king and the high priest were allowed to enter. But now, we can too! How am I just climbing the steps of an 800-year-old temple right now? This is crazy. Oh man, it looks cool up here. But I'm kinda tired. <laughs> I like being high up. The views up here are incredible, and it's also not just a viewpoint. There's more courtyards and hallways and just like a whole other little world up here on top. And then like the main tall tower is just sticking right out the center of it. The fact that this temple is as big as it is and there's still so many intricate carving details on the stone is wild. This must have taken forever to build. I just feel like I've only seen something like this in movies. So to actually be standing here right now is like mind boggling. Very delicious dried mango. It's nice and empty here, which is surprising since there's so many tourists here. But it's a pretty big temple, so you can still find corners where like it's really quiet and nobody else is around. It's pretty nice. I love that this temple is just completely surrounded by trees. It kind of feels like we're in the middle of nowhere and there's just this giant temple in the middle of it. I think my favorite thing here is actually all of these long, dark corridors with these super high ceilings. It just looks so cool. <laughs> it's so dark down here. I love it. This is so cool. It's echoey in here too. Wow. And nobody's here. Just me and you, Bob. Bub. Angkor Wat feels so unique, especially compared to other temples we've seen that are normally one building, one room, one big Buddha statue to focus on. This place is just like this sprawling temple ground with all these different rooms, all these carvings, all these statues. The scale of it is just super, super impressive. We didn't notice this till right now, just before leaving, but there's several parts of the temple that look like they have the faded remnants of old paint on them, and it's like a pink color. So I wonder if this whole thing used to be painted red. I bet it would have been so pretty, like all bright clay. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine this place like completely <laughs> decked out in paint. It's like, incredible. Holy cow. <laughs> So Angkor Wat is this massive temple here that we've been exploring, but the bigger picture here was Angkor, a massive city that was actually much bigger and much more advanced than any European city of the time. Angkor was the capital city of the Khmer Empire, and for six centuries they conquered and controlled a massive kingdom in Southeast Asia. There are over a thousand temples across this area, spanning more than 150 miles, and we are not going to visit all of those today, but we are going to check out two more really cool ones. Before we head to these next two temples, we gotta get some lunch at 10 a.m. And, oh, no, they turned off. No, we were gonna run through the sprinklers. They turned them off. That is so sad. Oh I'm my so gosh. Upset. Whoa, you guys. I'll take the big one. Oh my god, we were looking for the food and we found the souvenirs instead. And they are all over us. <laughs> the second we started even approaching, people were like yelling a hundred yards away for us to come down there and buy their water bottles. Not just one person. Like three at like, the same time. There's like there's like a hundred of them. I feel bad saying no to so many people in a row, but I don't want anything. We want to sit down and have a plan. <laughs> we'll say yes to food. 
Thank you. <laughs> the souvenir salespeople even followed us into the restaurant and are still trying to sell us stuff. Yeah. Any city you go to, they're gonna try to sell you stuff, but this was like another level. I felt bombarded. I've never <laughs> experienced anything like that before. That was the tiniest hello. little thing. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, don't fall off. He's yes. so little. Oh, did you hear it meow? Yeah. The family that owns this restaurant saw us looking at their cat, so they brought out the tiniest little kitten. <laughs> it's the smallest little kitten I've ever seen. She could barely walk. She was so tiny. Little well, baby. <sighs> I guess that's kind of a cultural difference we've never really mentioned. Whenever we go to like restaurants, we're almost always sitting outside and like they just let cats crawl around on the table and stuff. It's crazy. I think like when everything's outside, it's like hard to prevent that too. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's always like intentional, but they also just don't seem to care. If there is a cat on the table, it's okay, that's why we got Sunny. And if my food falls on the table, I do not eat it. No, I wouldn't. So we both ordered something called curry yellow noodle with chicken on the menu because the photo of it looked like khao soy from Thailand. And I miss it so much. We're taking a risk here, but yeah. it should be good. It I don't looks wanna, just like it. I don't want to get my hopes up, but it really does look like it. We'll see. Yeah. Thank you. Looks extremely different from the photo. I don't think it's cow soy, but it smells good. I think it's green curry. Oh, it does have that flavor. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's too far hot though. Heck yeah. There's still noodles in it. Yeah, I like nudes. She likes nudes. I'll take some nudes any time of day. Oh. I meant take as in receive, not take. Same difference, babe. <laughs> it's quite good. Found some sprinklers. Some water. Oh. <laughs> Are you refreshed? Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, I just got sleepy. Oh no! The three temples that we're seeing today are part of the small circuit. It's sort of like a loop, and these are like the three most popular ones to see here. We hear if you only have one day in anchor, these are the three to see. Hey, there he is! <laughs> We found our driver. Actually, he found us. And he brought us cold water and wet wipes. Yay. Super nice. Just in case anybody's wondering, we booked our Tuk Tuk driver through our hotel. Pretty much any hotel in town should have that option, but if not, you can literally walk outside and like 20 Tuk Tuk drivers will start yelling at you and asking if you want to ride. So it's, it's not hard. <laughs> So Anchor Tom was the capital city of Anchor, and it is surrounded by eight miles of walls, making a perfect square. We're about to head through the south gate, and in the very center of this city is Bayan, our next temple. Let's go. His kappa's been detated. His kappa's been detated. Wham, his kappa is detated from his head. There's probably about a hundred individual statues along this bridge here on both sides. And they all have such unique faces. Like they're all different from each other. I wonder if they represent any like specific beings or deities. I'm not really sure, but they're pretty cool. Whoa, y'all, there is a face on this gate. There is a big old face up there. <laughs> Can you see the face? Walking through the gates. Whoa. Oh my God, talk about bats. <gasps> Look at all the bats. There's so many bats. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like 800 years old. How did, how did they make that? This whole day, I'm just like, how is all this stuff 800 to 1,000 years old. I literally cannot comprehend how human beings had the ability to build stuff like this so long ago because I could not build anything to save my life, even with all the tools we have now. Thank you. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> this is a very unique temple. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. Have I said that already? Maybe. It happened again. But yeah, this one is like on another level. There are faces everywhere that's crazy <laughs> wow let's go whoa <laughs> this goes up super high a bunch of cobwebs up there. Whoa, that's super tall. 
And these hallways are like so cool looking. Come on, vamanos. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> oh man, it's just like, uh, I, look at that. I feel Whoa. like I'm in an Indiana Jones movie. Oh my gosh, it does feel right? like that. Especially since this one feels like it's a lot more falling apart and crumbly. Yeah. Look at that ceiling. It's a little scary. I feel like if I yell too loud, it's all gonna come down. <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> it's also like very quiet here. Like this is supposed to be one of like the big tourist temples. And we've been mostly alone the whole yeah. time so far. Yeah, one thing to note, it smells like straight up bat poop in here, which I never could have told you what that smelled like before, but now I feel like I could identify it anywhere because it is very strong. Just so you're prepared for that, just so you're aware. Definitely adds to the feeling of oldness of this place. It's like, yes, bats live here. They be pooping here, they be living here. So Bayan was built as a Buddhist temple because it was built after the king converted to Buddhism. And it's known for all of these giant stone carvings of faces. There's over 200 of them. And they're said to either represent Buddha or the king who had them built. I don't know which is true. But we're having a really hard time capturing the faces on the outside with this harsh sunlight. And I'm honestly having more fun running around in the mazes inside. So we're gonna go do some more of that. I feel like such an adventurer wandering around this temple. Which way? Do we go? Dun, dun, dun. Long. Yeah, this is really cool. This is, this is like the coolest place we've ever been. It's so quiet. This feels like a maze back here. It's not just like one big temple room in here. It's like all these little passageways that we get yeah. to walk through. We're alone. I feel like I'm in a video game where I am Indiana Jones. We are Indiana Jones. We are. Where the frick are we? I'm having more fun than I did at Anchor Wat. Honestly, this and is Anchor so... Wat was pretty cool. It was cool. The scale of that place was like mind blowing. This place is just like dark and like lots of passageways and it's just cool. This All these rocks. I feel like we're <gasps> deep inside of the temple now. I don't even know how to get out. I don't know where we've gone. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Wow, look at the, oh, it feels weird like, <laughs> like obviously this thing has been standing for hundreds of years with a little bit of help and reinforcement, but like standing next to something where all of the big rocks are discombobulated and like they're above your head, <laughs> it's a little frightening. Yeah, they're a little uh, precarious. <laughs> <laughs> These rocks are being held up by a plank of wood sitting on another plank of wood. <laughs> We just left Bayan. There's a few other temples in this area that look pretty cool, but we're kind of running out of time today. So we're heading to our third and final temple, Tapram. There's a chance this one could top the last one we just saw. I don't know, we'll have to see, but it looks pretty cool. Like 30 feet away from the parking lot and our tuk-tuk driver is booking it over to us. He is taking good care what of a us. Guy. He's incredible. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> Thank Too you. Hard, okay. Oh, that feels so good. Hee <laughs> 
We're honestly handling this heat today way better than I thought we would. <laughs> we have become stronger in the past three months of traveling Southeast Asia. Our heat tolerance, I think, has gotten a little better. Even though I was excited, I expected it to be a little miserable because at this point in the day, it should be up to 102 degrees. I'm not yeah. gonna look, but there's been good shady areas in all of these temples. We have not been out in the sun all day, which no, I think thank helps goodness. a lot. I've been sweating a lot, but I feel Plus, good. we've been distracted by all of the super cool things. That is cool. These have all been super duper cool. I don't know much. That's cool. I... These have been super duper cool. <laughs> cool is the new cute. Sometimes things are just cool, okay? <laughs> Anyways, don't know much about this next temple other than that it's gonna be cool. So this temple is known for two things. One, it was in some Angelina Jolie movie in like 2001 called Tomb Raider. I've never seen it. And two, it's kind of out in the jungle and it has trees just growing all up inside of it and around it and it's supposed to look really, really cool. This place looks awesome. It's like the jungle doesn't even know it's there. Look at that tree! It's literally growing on top of the temple. What bird dropped its little seed up there and like caused this to grow? That's incredible. It looks like a big, like, what are those, the vegetable that has, like, the roots like that, like a radish or something? That's what, like, all its little roots coming down to the ground look like to me. At this temple and the last temple, there's been like these big piles of like rubble of just giant stones where clearly like whole sections of the temple have just fallen. And this one, you can even see pillars just jutting out of all of this rock. So I guess I wasn't entirely off base to, ah, bug. Ugh, that did not look like a nice bug. Oh, I don't like him, let's go. Anyway, I had to run away because a bug attacked me. But as I was saying, I feel like I wasn't 100% off base to be a little bit worried about walking through some of these buildings. Nah, uh, they're a little unstable. <gasps> I feel like I've never seen buildings this old that a giant tree like this had time to grow here. This tree is huge. It's probably like 100, 200 years old. Bonkers. I am fading fast in this heat. This so, girl needs some iced coffee. So we're on our way to grab some iced coffee and then hit the pool at our hotel. The pool is gonna feel so good. Our mans is coming to get us again. Hey, don't say our mans. <laughs> our hero. Our hero. Hello. 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 <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Feeling better. Much, much better. <laughs> Where are you? Thank you, Shaya. Yes, thank you so much. Finally at the pool. We made a little friend here the other day and now he wants to hang out again. <laughs> Say what's up! <laughs> oh my gosh! It feels so good! Thank goodness I was at the pool. Oh man, the pool feels so good after a day like today. After 10 hours, 12? 10? 10 hours of exploring temples. This feels so amazing. <laughs> 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 Definitely get a hotel with a pool yes. in Siem Reap. It is worth it. Better yet, just book this hotel. Long Night Siem Reap has been absolutely amazing. Great pool, great staff, the comfiest bed we've slept in so far in yes. all of Southeast Asia. I love it. Yeah, stay here. Do it. Alrighty, we got some more temples to check out tomorrow, so we will see you guys then. Stay wiggity! Hey, baby. This is 
is very upsetting. That's what time we're waking up. <laughs> Can you even see me? Uh, just a tiny bit. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> just kind of slowly walk. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Right there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I stopped recording. You did. Like when she falls, and then we got the first bath, <laughs> and then like the end of it, I dropped all the water bottles. I didn't actually fall, but my foot went straight in that little ditch, that little drainage thing. <laughs> That's what I get for enjoying the views. Well, I didn't capture it, but Jill just took a tumble too. <laughs> well, she's fine. That's, that's what okay. I get for laughing at you. True. <laughs> I ripped my pants. You did? I ripped them more. They're already kind of ripped. Oh. <laughs> Tries to get cool shot. Ripped his pants. Back to it. It is stanky in here. Oh, I can't even go in there. Yeah, it's terrible. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, <cover that>. <laughs> <laughs>